Morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, Angeles Forest Highway. Beautiful day for a drive today. And uh, before we get going on this really neat Porsche, just a quick public service announcement. A lot of people ask us how you can help us out. And uh, the answer is, I don't want your money. You don't have to buy anything. There's no Patreon. I'm not asking for handouts. Just do us a favor. Whitelist our channel on your ad block. You got a couple seconds. You're on YouTube anyway. Watch an ad. It doesn't cost you anything, and uh, it really helps us keep this channel alive. Okay, PSA over. Uh, this is Andrew, and thank you so much for coming out. And uh, Andrew is a student at uh, Pasadena uh, Art and Design Center, and uh, which which is uh, they design cars, and you're in transportation design, yeah? Right. Which is excellent. And uh, this is your Porsche 996 Carrera, uh, presumably track build with this seat and the cage. So tell me a little bit about the car. Uh, it's a 2000 C2, and I got it from a trade. I had a S2000 before, uh -huh. and I straight tra traded for this car. And, yeah, um, straight up. Mm -hmm. Good for you. And, and uh, s slowly been putting it back to like a like a more cleaner, more uh, usable street car. Okay. Oh, did you buy it? You bought it with all the stuff in it. Yeah, I had a big GT wing and a wow. and splitter, and just took everything off and started trying to find all the aero kit parts. Uh huh to make it look like a, you know, like a, a period correct, um, modified, uh, you know, Carrera. Neat. So, uh, what do you have for like suspension and brakes and stuff in here? Uh, brakes are stock. Uh, the suspension is, uh, 996, uh, GT3 coilovers. Okay. And, um, RSS, uh, uh monoball, uh, control arms front okay. and rear and the dog bones and, uh, sway bars. Cool. GT3 as well. And stock powertrain? Yes. And no modifications of the engine? No. Okay, cool. Well, let's see uh, Let's see what you can do with a 996. Uh, this one, uh, because you're a small gentleman and I'm a large gentleman, this seating position is quite interesting. Uh, it's actually sort of tricky for me to get on the clutch, but <laughs> uh, we're going to make it work. So this, this car was, what, about 300 horsepower, right? Right. And, uh, ooh, very tight on the steering already. Every time I drive these, I'm, I'm impressed with them. How do you like it so far? I like it. Um, like, you know, steering is really tight. Uh -huh. um, it feels almost reminiscent to the, um, uh, the S2000 turn-in. And, you know, like, um, it's, it's a pretty reliable car so far. I do most of the Has it had the, uh, the IMS service? Yeah, it has. So we're good to go on that regard. We won't blow the motor on the test drive. That's excellent. Easy pedals. Uh, very good for heel towing, even though I have sort of a strange uh, position on them right now. It rides pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. Not too stiff. Although this, uh, the tarmac here is excellent. Yeah. Compared to like downtown LA, this is Oh this yeah. Is, nice. is downtown brutal in this car? Yeah, it is. Is this your daily? Is this your only car? Um, it used to be, uh, but now I got a Honda Insight. So. <laughs> yeah, how do you like that thing? Yeah, I mean, it gets like 50 miles per gallon. So, yeah. Well, LA is a two-car town, isn't it? You yeah. know, you get your fun car on the weekends and your daily. I definitely know how that goes. So I can't hate on anyone who's got something like this for the weekend and then has a, a hybrid of sorts for a, for a daily. This car feels very light on its feet, you know, it turns in nice, it feels, it feels like, you know, it's not stressed, you know, yeah. when a car is very light, none of the componentry feels stressed. Yeah. Sounds good. Feels, you know, these 996s, I've driven a couple of them that were high mileage and very tight, you know, not a lot of squeaks and rattles in here. And you said it's been reliable? Yeah. Pretty reliable so far. What kind of tires are you running? Uh, Advan 8008Rs. Oh, I haven't tried these yet. How do you like them? Um, I don't drive the car enough to know. But, okay. uh, but yeah, uh, so far so good. I had uh, Michelin Pilot Sports before, and those were excellent. So uh, They're expensive though. You know? Yeah, like I couldn't justify paying you know, like $1,700 for us. Well, you are a college student, and so that uh, is a yeah. forgivable offense. Yeah. What uh, what kind of uh, projects are you working on in transportation design? Currently, I just finished uh, Lincoln's sponsor project. Oh, cool. Um, so they're showing our models at um, um, in Detroit, and then we're going to be competing against CCS. Oh, 
that's so cool. <laughs> if any of you guys are ever in California and you get a chance to stop by Art Center, the gallery there, which shows the, the transportation design students work, you'd be absolutely amazed by what these kids are doing. I mean, you must have some extraordinarily talented people in your class. Yeah, very, very. And, uh, you know, a lot of these kids, I mean, probably you one day will go on to design very real cars that we will be driving. I mean, yeah. that's an amazing part of the industry. Okay, back to your car. Great balance. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not really, really getting at it, but at, at Canyon pace, very predictable, very easy. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't feel like the engine is overpowering the chassis at all. These things love to be up top. I probably wasn't high enough in the RPM band there. Oh, but it's beautiful. I wish uh, the steering wheel telescope that would solve quite a few of these, of the. Uh, uh, issues with this, but I'm, I'm making it work. It's all right. Yeah. These things are they're uh, especially the 996s, which are light and balanced, but not crazy powerful. You know, it's a German momentum car. But it's very nice to drive, though. So you have a standard brakes, what about, do you have pads, fluid, anything like that? No, they're all standard. Really? Yeah. Well, they, the last 996 I drove uh, didn't feel like it stopped quite as good as this one. This one feels really good. The cage, I, I can actually feel the rigidity from the cage is a little different from yeah. the last one. Have you driven one that didn't have a cage in it? Could you tell the big the difference? I have, and uh, you know, they're, they're way different, I think. I, it, um, it's really, really rigid, yeah? Yeah. Ooh, this is nice. Uh, oh man, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to pause for a minute because this this group of cars here is not going to work for me. And we're back. We're gonna get to catch this here motorcycle. Okay, so what's your favorite thing about this 996? I'm I'm thinking it's probably the balance. Yeah. And uh, you know the attention that it gets. For you know, for such an old car, and you know, like a lot of people just look at it and they appreciate it. Uh huh. And um, the fact that I get a 911 for you know, affordable really price, price. price, yeah. Right. Well, these things are very affordable until you blow the motor. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it doesn't matter if it's a 996 or a 991. That's 20 grand. You know yeah. what I mean? But I agree with you, though. The, the, my favorite thing about this car so far is the balance. It's uh, it's easy. Yeah. It's happy to turn. It's happy to change direction. You know, even though the engine's hanging out the back, I don't want to say you don't notice it because you, you kind of do, but it's not. It's certainly not bad. Right. Full throttle. Get, uh, you know, get faster cars for this money, but once you drive one of these, the finesse of the whole thing is so nice. I'm pretty much third gear this whole road. I like this car a lot, man. This is great. You gotta, even if you go back to the street, you're probably gonna leave the cage, right? Yeah. Everything else interior-wise will, will be the way it is. I'm just uh, trying to find the side skirts and then eventually paint that wing in the back. Yeah, did it come like mismatched like that? Um, it, well, I had a GT wing uh, uh -huh. with the, um, uh, with the um, uh, so it was a cup style um, wing on the back. Yeah. So the, uh, the boot lid for that one was, was color matched, but then I got this off of eBay. I found it for 500 bucks for um, a GT3 um, there you go. Uh, and it's that black. That'll be easy to match. Yeah. It doesn't, I mean, it, it clearly doesn't match, but it doesn't look bad. It matches the cage. Uh, yeah. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Porsche GT cars have some weird two-tone stuff going on. Right. A lot of my friends told me to keep it. Actually, half and half. They said keep it, or you know, some people said just paint it. It looks so weird. 
Well, I mean, when I get to it, it probably would look better matched, but yeah. it's not bad. Yeah. When you pulled up, I was like, ooh, race car. Cool. <laughs> oh, it's got really, this has good grip. These tires are nice. It's got good grip. And the rain's really good as well. Really? Do you uh, do you do track days in this, or do you uh, just, no. just roll around in it? Just roll around. <laughs> um, you should go, you should try and go do a track day, man. This thing is ready for it, for sure. Okay. This car will handle track work. get a vibe going with this car man this is one of those cars that make a make a good escape on the weekends you know come up to a road like this clear your head right and you really you don't have to scrub off too much speed for these corners it really does have great momentum right you know good good grip combined with chassis balance and your suspension's not too stiff at least for this kind of driving and it's really nice People will say, yeah, the 996 interior is sort of cheap or whatever, but at maybe when they were new, sure, but at the prices you're paying for them today, right. it's perfectly appropriate. Yeah. All the touch points are nice. They're all leather, you know. Yeah. Uh, Something breaks, it's gonna be pricey. Oh, right. Second. Yep, there's your second gear right there. <laughs> you did mention the one issue is it pops out of second gear. Yeah. Um, and it did, so I'm just gonna hold it. Um, but uh, th you know, these things aren't Hondas, and if something breaks, it can be expensive. Yeah. But save a little money on the side. Yeah. Little just little rainy day fund, <laughs> and and you've got a fun car yeah. at, at a very reasonable price. Yeah. And you're driving a Porsche. You know what I mean? It's not. It, it's it's a car that, that is fun, but also has a, a bit of cachet behind it as right. well, if you will. Well, this was uh, this was really fun, Andrew. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, we have to let you go because you have a final today. <laughs> oh my God! Good, best of luck with that, sir. And, and I I hope I get to see your work in the yep. future, uh, designing cars for us. Uh, maybe one of the big three. What's your dream gig? Who do you want to design cars for? Uh, right now, probably Honda. Okay. Yeah. Um, I want to stay somewhere in um, you know, Southern, Southern California. California. I like the weather. The well, most. people will argue, but Southern California is the home of transportation design. Yeah. And for the last hundred years, it's been that way. And uh, and, and I wish you uh, good luck going forward with your, with your Porsche. Have fun with it. Go Thank to a track day. You'll love it. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll uh, see you next time.